Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Tech for Today. In this video, I will talk about Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps or MDCA, a CAS-based solution offered by Microsoft. This will be the first video of the entire MDCA series. So quickly in this video, we will discuss about what is CASB, why do we need CASB, we will understand how MDCA provides visibility in shadow IT, and we will also discuss about the pillars in which MDCA protects your environment. Now for the people who are new to this term, CASB is Cloud Access Security Brokers, and as per Gartner, CASB is an on-premises or cloud service software that sits between a cloud service consumer and a cloud service provider. As the name suggests, CASB acts as a gatekeepers to broker real-time access between your enterprise users and cloud resources. CASB addresses cloud service risk by enforcing your enterprise security policies. This is done by providing visibility into shadow IT and app use, monitoring user activities for anomalous behavior, controlling access to your resources, providing the ability to classify and prevent sensitive information leaks, protecting against malicious actors, and assessing the compliance of cloud services. You need a CASB to better understand your overall cloud posture. For example, there are many ways for a malicious actors to leverage cloud apps to get into your enterprise network and exfiltrate sensitive business data. So if you are an organization that uses or is considering using cloud apps to your portfolio of network services, you most likely need a CASB to address the additional unique challenges of regulating and securing your environment. Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps provides capability that protect your environment across four pillars. On a high level, the first one is visibility to detect all cloud services. Next is data security to identify and control sensitive information. Next is threat protection, which offer provide user and entity behavior analysis and mitigate malware. And the last one is compliance to supply reports and dashboard to demonstrate cloud governance, assess efforts to com comfort to data residency and regulatory compliance requirement. Now think of a typical scenario where an employee is using a company device inside the office network. And as an IT admin, you should have the visibility over the application used by the employee. It can be office applications or any application integrated with Azure AD or on-premises application. Now, when I say application, it can be an application which are approved by the company or employees can use other applications like social media, personal emails or some storage apps. In this scenario where the user is sitting in the office, you already have a network security in place and all the traffics are monitored. But as I said before, the number of applications used by the users are increasing. In short, Users can use application which IT is aware of and also they can use the apps which IT team are not aware of even though the networks are monitored. So as an IT admin, monitoring of the application is very important. There are two categories here. First is using the application that IT team is aware of which is otherwise called as approved apps and other is apps which IT team is not aware of. So to uncover shadow IT, you can monitor the logs generated from the system and also network devices. With Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps, you can discover and manage shadow IT, which helps you to know and identify which apps are being used and what the risk level is. How cloud discovery can be done is by forwarding the logs from your network using Defender for Cloud Apps, either manually or by automatically uploading the log from your network. Another method is by integrating with Secure Web Gateway. There are some SVG you can integrate with MDCA by default. Next is MDCA integration with Defender for Endpoint, 
which is natively done. We'll discuss this in a lot more detail in our upcoming sessions. Defender for Cloud Apps integrates with Defender for Endpoint natively. So in this scenario where the user is using the applications from outside network or if he's trying to access from his personal network, the shadow ID is discovery is done with the integration with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Defender for Endpoint is natively integrated with Defender for Cloud Apps. To simplify a rollout of cloud discovery, extend cloud discovery capabilities beyond your corporate network and enable machine learning investigation. Shadow IT discovery is one of the use case of MDCA. So this covers the first pillar of MDCA that is visibility to detect all cloud services and assign risk ranking. By checking whether employees are using sanctioned apps or unsanctioned apps. So basically this makes you aware on what is going on in enterprise. And as an IT admin, if you see users are using unsanctioned apps, then those apps can be blocked by creating policies or rules in MDC. Next is data security to identify and control sensitive information which help to understand, classify and protect the exposure of sensitive information at risk. And there are out of the box policies in MDC that can be supplied in real time across your cloud apps. In threat protection, this detect unusual behavior across the cloud apps to detect or to identify ransomware compromised users or if there are any ROG applications and to analyze high risk usage and remedy it automatically to limit the risk of your organization. And the last one is compliance. Assess if your cloud apps that are discovered with Shadow IT meet relevant compliance requirements including regulatory compliance and industry standard. Assess the risk level and business readiness of more than 31,000 SaaS application against more than 80 risk factor. This also prevent data leaks to non-compliant apps and limit access to regulate, regulated data. I'll talk more about all these in our upcoming videos. MDCA is integrated, integrated natively with Azure AD Identity Protection, Microsoft Information Protection, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and lot more Azure services. So this is the overview of Defender for Cloud Apps and quickly we'll see the summary of the topics we discussed. Uh, first, we discussed what is CASB, why do we need CASB and we understood how MDCA provides visibility in the shadow IT. And finally, we have seen the four different pillars in which MDCA protects your environment. In my next video, I will discuss about how to set up the portal what are the prerequisites uh, or the license required and lot more. Thank you so much for watching the video.